Hi everybody, it's Graham from Mowgli Ventures and today we're going to talk about fuse blocks and in particular the Blue Sea ST 12 slot. So thank you for joining us today. Um, we are going to talk about this fuse box. I'm going to put this in the van later so subscribe and you can come back and check and see how we get on as I install this and other upgrades to my 12 volt system in my 4x4 Sprinter van. Okay so fuse blocks, why do we need them? If you've built a van you already know that you get lots and lots of circuits and each of those circuits has to have a fuse on it. If you are about to build your van you're going to discover this anyway. So a bit of forewarned and a bit of foreplanning is that um, you need to kind of put all the fuses in one place you need to be able to identify those fuses so that if you need to replace a fuse or you need to find a fault or you need to remove a fuse because you want to work on the appliance or the cable supplies etc it's always good to have them in a single place of reference or of a point to get to so one of the best ways of doing that is to use a fuse block um, and this one from blue sea is the pinnacle of uh, fuse blocks it's from a well-known company. Uh, it is certified by the Coast Guard and the American Yachting Society, ABYC. And so it's of a very good quality. And of course, it's expensive. So it is the top of the game uh, in terms of fuse blocks, but it's well worth having a look. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna open up and see what we've got. Uh, it's in a heavy duty plastic case. Uh, it's got several items in here. So there is the fuse block itself, which is polyurethane. So a clear plastic top and a dark cover on the bottom. Um, there are some stickers, 12 stickers, I believe, uh, to either write the circuit name or the circuit number, and then you can stick them on the respective fuse bays on the, the cover here. And there is an instruction manual, A, how to remove the cover, and B, how to wire the components up. And then there are some uh, key information about the voltages and the current cap capabilities, uh, torque fittings and wire sizes associated with this fuse block. So let's have a quick look at the top of this. We take the yellow tab off, and at the top we can see we have 12, earth points connected to a earth buzz bar. On the other side is a uh, positive input buzz bar nut here, supplying this buzz bar of 12 fuse slots. There is a single fuse in here as a demonstration. It is the fuse blade that you would normally expect to see in a car. These are the medium sized ones, not the smitty ones. Um, and I carry a box of these in in the van anyway, so there's nothing uh, there's nothing surprising here. These fuses can go up to 40 amps, although this unit is rated at 30 amps per circuit, so that means having a maximum 30 amp fuse in here. Uh, but overall, the buzz bar is rated at 100 amps, so that means whatever circuits you have attached to this that are running concurrently, it must be less than 100 amps draw. So that's something to think about as you wire things up and you put things on your load and on your fuse block that you are not exceeding 100 amps in total running, but 30 amps per circuit. So the studs here, both the positive and the negative studs, is a terminal nut with a castellated uh, base. Uh, and the reason for that is as you screw, tighten down, it will tighten on the copper connector. Let's put one here. Uh, the copper connector here and uh, bite so it won't vibrate through. Now you can use an M6 on this, M6 size is the smaller circuit size but you'll probably be struggling to get a cable to fit in here because the cables that fit in here are quite large. You can have a 10mm uh, to 25mm squared which is a 6 to 4 AWG size cable sitting in here. So that's quite a large cable uh, with a small hole, M6, an M8 perhaps is possible, uh, and you will torque it down like that. The supply cables from the fuse out to your appliance, you need to use an M6. Uh, I tried to use an M8 a hole on a blue cable, uh, which would be for 1.5 to 
2.5 mil uh, cabling. It just didn't fit. It was too wide. It's, it, it catches on the side. So we're using an M6, and M6 is a better size. The tabs here, it's screwed. It's just called a screw terminal, which is what the ST stands for. ST blade fuse box is screwed terminal. So you have to undo these screws. It's a Phillips or crosshead um, screw comes out straightforward. You take that out. You take your connector, which is connected to a wire and you screw it in there and you just screw that back down and that's you connected put a fuse in boom bob's your ankle so very simple not very uh complicated in its in its entire in its entirety in use but it just makes life very very easy because now every circuit is lined off here and in the diagram that i'm showing you which is coming from, which comes from my um design tool you can see how that sits where we've got the circuits uh being powered by the battery through a large fuse into here, probably an A&L fuse because it's got to be 100 amps. And then from each of these circuits off to each individual source. Now you can put a switch between here and the appliance, or you can go straight to the appliance and use the appliance switch or run the appliance through some other control mechanism entirely irrelevant to this unit itself. So it fits on the bulkhead with four screws and the cover goes back on now this is not waterproof it's splash proof but it's not waterproof so put it somewhere dry easy access um and jobs are good anyway my name is graham this is mogli adventures subscribe as the next set of videos i will install this along with some other products when i upgrade my van have a great day see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.